world. Okay. I was just imagining that that's what you would say, you know, in that situation. Pretend like you're really there. Well, I'm looking at the screen here and I see, yes, topic B. It's coming back yet once again. Fractions as division. Right on. I'm liking it. Whoa. Yeah, you know what, dude? No, it was really there. I was standing there and it was right up there and the topic B but just disappeared. Yeah, okay. Right, Mr. Wara. Okay, Mr. Wara, let's focus. Students will be able to interpret a fraction as division. This is our objective, basically our learning target today. So let's go ahead and, like I always say, let's get started. Oh, Johnny, what do we have behind curtain number three? Hmm, I don't know. Let's take a look. Yes, it looks like more of that. Oh, we have a baker. Hmm, yummy. It looks like he has some bread. And there's an arrow, like we, in case we didn't notice it, I guess. I don't know what that arrow is doing there. It's just staring at the bread. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and look at the problem. It says a baker poured four kilograms of oats equally into three bags. What is the weight of each bag of oats? You know, this problem may seem difficult on the surface, but really, it's not that bad. Let's just slow it down. Slow it down. A baker poured four kilograms. Okay, I get that. But it says equally. Well, that's let me know I'm dividing into three bags. So immediately you, you must be thinking four divided by three. That's what we're doing. What is the weight of each bag of oats? Well, let's go ahead and model this. We could actually do the equation, but let's go ahead and model this. I'm gonna go ahead and get another. Oh, let's model for, well, model with mathematics. That is a mathematical practice. There are eight of them. Anyways, we have our four kilograms, and basically we're trying to get these four to fit into three equal bags. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my bags, right? I have to fit those four in there. Well, one thing that I noticed right away, and I bet you did too, that's right, I'm just going to show this. Oh, that's where the arrow could come in handy. Come here, arrow. Yes, come over here. Got a job for you. Thank you, the arrow's pointing like down. We're taking this down to that. I'm stealing these from here, but just pretend like it's that. So now we have one in each one. I can see that I did that, but now we have this guy here on the end, and we need to divide that by three. Well, when we're dividing by three, that kind of makes you think, Maybe thirds? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! Yep, yeah, there we go. So now I have one, two, three. Simple as that. So we're going to put that in there, this one in the second one, and that one in the third one. Yes, we did it! So let me go ahead and continue on with this wonderful lesson. If we have one bag here, a second bag here, a third bag there, that means I have divided it. Well, let's take a look at what that equation looks like then. Because four divided by three is four divided by three. That's the same thing, it's four thirds. And when you think about that, that's basically what we have here. We have four thirds. We divided this one whole into thirds. This is really, you could say, three thirds, right? We have three of them. And there's three pieces, it was broken up into three. We have all three of them there, three thirds. And over here, so that would be like three, and then we have one more, that's four thirds. It's exactly what that is. Which means that's also, look at one whole, and look at one of these guys. So that means four thirds is equal to one and one third. Oh, boy, do I just love math. I, this is wonderful, the way that works out. It's so nice. Now, another way to kind of think of this Am I gonna have some more room here? Yeah, let me bring it on down. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make, oh, don't wanna do that. How about we make a copy of this guy? Okay, we're gonna continue this on, okay? Because I wanna show that four thirds, and so I'm gonna show it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and draw, that's right, three more bags. Now this is the same problem, okay? I'm not making new problems, I'm just showing the problem in different ways. It's gonna help us really get a good understanding on how Okay, so let's take a look at this. We have our three new bags, which is just a continuation. And now I'm gonna drag and put one, two, three. Yes, three thirds. Remember that one hole and then we need one more. And look at that. We have ourselves four thirds. We do. And now what I could do is I can actually show this. So let me go ahead and rather than drag four more, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat, yes, I know. And then we're just gonna do this 
Ooh, I know, love that trick. Oh, I love it. And that pen is going to say that basically we have four thirds, this is what we were talking about before, is equal to one and one third. I just wanted to show that to you. Okay, thank you very much. What are you doing up here? Come on down. I know what you're doing up there. All right, now we can move on to the next page. Uh-oh, another blank screen. It says if the baker doubles the number of kilograms of oats to be poured equally into three bags, what is the weight of each bag of oats? Mm, okay, so we're adding a little, another little challenge here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that problem. I'm not afraid. So if we had four kilograms, which is what we had before, and so if we have four kilograms, so we double the number of kilograms, that means times two. Oh, this is gonna disappear, cool. Okay, it's going to equal eight kilograms. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and now we're drawing like a whole thing here. So we're still dividing by three. So you can almost kind of do my three bags down here. But yeah, I suppose you could do this in any order. I know my bags are pretty big ones there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my eight. So I'm gonna have to have eight, well, I'm gonna have eight of these going across now. Three, should we practice our Spanish? Cuatro, there we go. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho. So you can see right away that, oh my goodness, if there's eight of them, I could put two of them in each one. See, that would be those two. And I could take two more and put them in this bag. All right, not completely in there, but it's there. Now we can do two more and they can go in this one. So you can see two, four, six. That's going to leave two because eight minus six is two. All right, so well, last time we divided by these by thirds, why don't we just do that again? We divide that by thirds like such, you're right. Okay, something like that. And then you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, so we can we have three of them. Oh, then each one would get two. So I could put two in here, two in there, and then remember there's six all together here, so I could put the last two over here. Yes, I've just modeled with mathematics again. Come up here. Mr. Sw Mr. Warriors, one sneaky dude. All right, there it is. I'll put it right up there, something like that. So you see that's just showing what I did up above. Now the fun part, the answer. Well, how many, uh, if they're poured equally into three bags, what is the weight of each bag? Well, I have one, two kilograms, and then I have two, two thirds here. So that would be two and two thirds. And then I could also break all this. I'm not gonna do this this time, but you get the idea. I could break this into thirds. Now how many thirds do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. I have eight, don't I? I have eight thirds. There are two over there. Six and two. I have eight thirds. So two and two thirds is equal to eight thirds. Oh, I just love how things work out like this, don't you? I just think it's a really cool thing. On that note, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, hit this page one more time. Ooh, another problem. Oh, it says if the baker doubles the number of kilograms doubles again, and they are poured equally into three bags. What is the weight? Oh, I see how it's different. If the baker doubles the number of kilograms of oats again, keyword again. See, the last one, it didn't have that. It just doubles the number of, oh, okay, just doubles uh, the number of kilograms of oats to be poured equally. And if you look here, it's like we're gonna do it again. So that means that eight's gonna turn to, that's right, number, yeah, it's gonna turn into number 16. All right, let's just do that. And let's, I kinda of like purple, I don't know. Eight, so double that, that's 16 kilograms. Okay, so we're gonna do this without the model since we've already done the model before. We're just gonna do it with the algorithm. So let's take a look at that. If we have 16 grams and we're gonna divide by the number, okay, equally, we're gonna divide by the three bags. We have 16 kilograms of oats, we're dividing it by three because we want to put as many, as we want to put that 16 kilograms of oats into three bags equally. So that lets you know right away, well, that's 16 thirds, 16 divided by three. Now, if you look at this, you can see 
that three thirds would make one whole. Well, look, we have one whole would be three thirds. Then if we add another three thirds, that would be six thirds. And if another whole one, we would have nine thirds. If we had one more, that would be 12 thirds. See how I'm doing it? And then 12 thirds, if we even had one more, we could have 15 thirds, that would be five. All right, and three times five is 15, and that's a little bit less. We could make five holes, and that's all I did. I know some of you might be saying, oh my goodness, Mr. War, you really lost me. But that's all I'm doing. I was just adding a whole bunch of thirds in my mind. And I know there's probably easier ways to solve this algorithm, but what's important is that we're understanding the fraction and its quantity. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, that's 15 thirds. That makes five whole ones. Well, if that's 15 thirds, how many more would I need to make 16 thirds? Just one more third. So that equals five and one third. Well, let's go ahead and do the algorithm and solve it this way. Let's go ahead and put the 16, okay? Because this is our dividend and this is our divisor. The divisor is always on the outside, all right? Divisor basically letting us know how many groups we're dividing this number into. We have the three groups there. Well, when we look at this, you can see that three uh, can't go into 110, okay? We can't distribute that evenly. If this was a 30, we could, but we can't. This is a tens place, so we have to take the whole number. But three, okay, we can take 16 and divide that number, and we would get five parts equal, uh, equal quantity, five, in every single group. Five in the first group, five in the second, and we end up with 15, because five times three is 15. And then we have left over with our remainder, one. Okay, now you can see we could also check this. So let's check it. Three times five and one third, five and one third, plus five and one third, plus five and one third. And now you can see right here we have five, 10, 15, and then here we have one third, one third, and one third. Well, in this case, so let me go ahead and put plus three thirds. And now you can see this is going to equal 16. What happened though? There we go. That was the number we were looking for, the 16. We got it all and got it back to where we were. Beautiful. I know. And you know what, my friends? It's pretty much going to do it. So friends, I, I owe you a few of these. Now, very important that you do what you need to do to get credit for this assignment. This comes to an end, my friends. Oh, how I've enjoyed today. Now, as always,